everyone, this is John the Watch Concierge and today we're going to be going over this micro brand here called Notu and this watch that I got here I received as a winning prize for the giveaway contest that they had and so I'll go over the watch and I'll open the box but first I want to kind of just talk about the brand before I do the opening and just kind of go over their um, story here that I, if you go to their website, notuwatches.com, you'll find, and I'll also put the website on the link, uh, the link to the website on the description, and you'll be able to check them out. Um, so the, here's the, the story is two childhood friends started with an idea of developing a watch company, bringing you the watch you deserve at the price you deserve. As we created this company, it was important to the both of us that when someone put our watch on, they looked good and felt good. So it was important that we wanted to brand out a word encompass encompassing the goal. And that goal has been accomplished using one English word, or one old English word, which is no to. Um, and the no to meaning is uh, use, uh, enjoyment, and advantage so that's interesting um, old English um, it's hard to find any brands that pull up anything from a, the old English dictionary I guess but yeah so uh, if we let's see if we wouldn't put them on our wrist we wouldn't put them on yours we hope you enjoy our watches as much as we have enjoyed making them for you and please follow our journey on Instagram, Noted Watches, David and Patrick, co-founders. So that's, uh, that's an interesting um, story, I guess. Um, definitely nothing, I guess, made up, like the whole Daniel Wellington story or Filippo Loretti story. Uh, I guess Filippo Loretti, I don't know if they're... It's not really made up, but the Daniel Wellington story is kind of funny because they're like... It was this guy that met this intriguing man called Daniel Wellington and you know he got inspired by his you know look and his handsomeness and decided to make a watch so it, it's weird but it, and it doesn't it sounds like a made-up story whereas this one you, you know they're pretty upfront two guys they they're friends they kind of wanted to bring you something that they like and and they came up with a uh, they, I guess, looked in the dictionary and so to see what was a meaningful term for them, um, I guess, in the Old English dictionary. I don't know how they ended up going to Old English for uh, the brand name, but it's an interesting story. Um, and when you look at their website, they pretty much just have um, one watch, one model um, with different dial colors and different strap colors so they have leather, leather straps and and but they pretty much have just one watch and I'll and let's go ahead since I'm talking about the watch let's go ahead and do this opening here all right and there it is this is what the box looks inside I was actually very surprised when I got this at how nice not only the box was which is one of the nicest watch boxes I have right so it's it's got that little padding on the top which is always nice and kind of like a smooth like just a smooth box and inside also got that cushion there and this logo right here i think maybe there are some papers that came here but i forgot where they were i know there's something in here which is for the let's see I don't know if they, I forgot if there was any other papers that came along with this, but this is just the watch operation guide. You can go online and how to change your strap and reorder for your next um, 15, 15%. And I probably shouldn't have used this, but whatever. Um, all right, I guess I probably shouldn't have shown you that. I mean, the 15%, but oh well. You guys can go ahead and use it if you want. I just hope. I'll be able to use it if I want to use it also. I hope it's not like one one order limit or something or one time use. But yeah, I, mean, I was very surprised with the watch. Um, one thing that was kind of scaring me when I first was looking at the, 
the watch I was like okay this thing that is let's see it's 45 millimeters case diameter so the case size is 45 millimeters and it's 12 millimeters thick so at the time I wasn't sh too sure if that was gonna be too big on me or not but it's actually quite nice whoops move the camera there a little bit sorry about that but you know if it's well but i think this is probably my limit i probably wouldn't go anything above a 45 millimeters unless it was maybe like a g-shock which i have a g-shock and it's 46 actually and and if it's you know it looks fine but it's a g-shock it's supposed to look the way it, it does and you know all large and everything whereas this one here and you already have like a large face right you have a large dial face um but it's a really nice looking watch um i just like it a lot let me just take this off it's kind of getting stuck on this strap here all right and there you go so yeah um just a very nice looking watch kind of like a pilot style watch right um or a field watch perhaps um, I think it, it's more of a pilot watch style, but um, yeah, it's got a chronograph, which is interesting because it kind of runs the opposite way, I guess. It's a weird chronograph. That's one thing that did catch me by surprise or I wasn't really understanding is, so you press this one. This is supposed to be with the reset usually. This is the start stop and then this is reset. But then I start using this one and it goes. So maybe I don't know if it's something wrong with the movement. I mean, the, the whole watch operates fine, right? Tells time and works well, but just the chronograph. And it stops, it goes around like one, two, three, like how many times? And then it stops. And so that's kind of interesting, but yeah, so you see. So that's an interesting chronograph. I'm not too familiar with this one. If you know anything about it, please let me know. But it's just odd that it just goes and then after a while it just stops. And then I guess this is supposed to be the reset, but the reset seems to be the one that... So yeah, there's that. I guess it's just... Yeah, I don't know. It. I guess it, can, it works as a chronograph, but it, it's quite different the way it works and you have the date window right here right at in between four and five and you have the 24 hour time um but yeah you got the tachymeter inside and the leather is really nice i love these leather straps they feel really good it's genuine leather but they feel really high quality um, very smooth, um, strong, and the best thing about it is I can change these quite easily. Oh, and I even kept the the strap here, or the little film here on the back. Take this off now, finally. But there you go. I can't believe I kept that on that watch for all that time. I think maybe I was thinking about doing a giveaway with this watch, but I actually decided to keep it for myself, um, just because it's. You know, it's a unique, I mean, I guess not that unique. I can probably find another watch like, you know, pilot style and just this kind of style, but I don't know. I don't have any other watches like this. So anyways, water resistance at 30, um, 30 meters, Japan quartz movement, all stainless steel. So that's good to know. Um, I'm not sure exactly which movement it has. We could maybe take a look, but this is the buckle right here has the logo as well or the name and yeah the crown is you know works well move it around pretty easily I guess and just a basic uh, crown I guess um, but yeah I love these interchangeable straps they're quite easy to to change and this is like just more convenient i just wish all the watches that i had were like this um but yeah 
it's just an overall nice watch a lot nicer than i expected to be honest um considering the just the the side the look i mean i guess on the website it looks nice but when it you know it looks a lot nicer in in person so that's good so yeah it says here genuine cow leather um let's see yeah everything i pretty much explained about the watch oh it's a japanese seiko quartz so there you go but still not enough detail on the the movement so i'm not sh too sure which seiko quartz it is but um, that's good to know. Seikos are nice. And it goes for about $120. So that is not bad for a watch like this, I think. Um, you know, for a micro brand, I think that's a, a good deal. So you should definitely, you guys should definitely check them out. Um, if you're interested in this kind of watch, they're based out of Massachusetts, apparently. And yeah, an American brand. Um, let's see, I don't think there's much else about them that I can really describe on their watch or on the on their website. So you guys just have to look, but they, I guess they also have accessories, which is a hat. They have a cap that you can buy there on their store, but they only do watches. But the thing is they only have, I wish, I wish they would come out with another model because this is li literally the only watch that they have is this with different colored straps and also with a different dial so it's either black dial or a, uh or a white dial or kind of like a silver all silver dial because th th these chronograph sub dials look like they're white but they're actually like silver so um yeah i wish they would do other colors let me see if they no they have a navy blue dial as well but that's about it. So they only have like three, three types of dials. Um, pretty basic, but you know, all power to them. They, they're pretty good. Um, I haven't worn it that much, but I plan on wearing it more often, hopefully um, in the future. So we can just put this back in here. Oh, and I forgot to mention the glass. So it is mineral crystal. So for $120, you know, a, a watch like this, I would expect it to have, I guess, mineral crystal. And sapphire crystal on, on most watches tend to be a little bit more, um, unless you're getting it direct from the manufacturer, but you know, still pretty good overall quality for this watch, I think. Um, you know decent enough um, but yeah and if you have any feedback or comments on the watch and what you think of it um, just let me know and if you heard about the brand or if you want to know more just reach out to me or reach out to them and see what you can uh, if you can have your questions answered but thanks for tuning in and I hope you We'll tune in for the next video as well and make sure to subscribe check out all the other videos that i have go on my website thewatchconcierge.net if you want to buy watches i got everything from chronograph to dress watches so i have a variety of watches available and yeah just uh for a bunch of different prices make sure to contact me if you can't find what you're looking for and i'll be able to help you out that's my whole goal is to find you what you're looking for for an affordable price and um make sure to subscribe like comment share the video and let me know if you have any feedback on the video and about this watch and i'll catch you guys next time thank you